Okay, here we are back again. This time it's uh, this is an intro to Mikey, and I want to show you how to create a select all script as well, which you're going to be using all the time. So you're going to be creating a little button sits up on your shelf, wherever your shelf is. Um, I'm going to go into the animation tool set here, so we're in the in kind of the place where we want to be, uh, and I want to set my project. Real important, set project, find Mikey. There's my Mikey project. That's the one you guys are going to download from Canvas. Okay, it should say the same thing. Set that and file open scene. And there's only one scene in there and that is Mikey start. And click open. Okay, like so. And there it is. So if I hit the six key, that's gonna get my texture here because hopefully if you set the project, it should be able to find that texture. And if I click play, this is what we've got. And all I really want you to do here is make Mikey jump over the box. That's the bare minimum, and everyone should be able to do that, okay? Okay, like so. So I wanna check a couple things right off the bat. I wanna make sure that I am not set on play every frame here in my preferences. Remember, click the little running guy down here and change that to 24 by one, 24 frames per second. Click save. Okay, if I play again, you'll see it's pretty slow, which is fine. I don't want that box to be too daunting for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna run that back. Okay, if I zoom in on this, all these things, these are actually the bones that make up Mikey, but they're kind of in the way and they get, they get kind of annoying if they're that big. Okay, so if you see that on your screen, what you do is you go to display, animation, joint size, and you just turn this down. You never really need to select those. Those are actually going to be just stuck in the geometry. Okay. The other thing you can do, if you like, is you can actually just hide those. Um, that's perfectly acceptable too. Uh, because what you're going to be doing is moving these controllers right here, these little guys, to actually make Mikey do stuff. So if I click this yellow ring here, as you can see Mikey moves up and down. Okay. This little guy right here, this little foot symbol right there. It's much easier to select these guys over here. And if you go to the outliner, you'll see I've got main ball control, that's this. Right foot, okay, right here, do, 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 do. Okay, and then left foot, I'm sorry, left and right. There's the right foot. And you can set limits on these, remember how we did that earlier, so they don't go through the floor. Um, or you can just copy and paste frames once you get it right. That'll work too, keeping them down on the ground. Okay, so when you are working with any character, a couple of things you want to do right off the bat is see how it works, okay? You might end up breaking things, you might end up finding something you didn't know, and the way to do that is to look in the channel box here. You'll see this foot control that I have selected controls this foot, okay, but it also has a bunch of other little things in here like toe twist, okay? I'm just dragging back and forth with the middle mouse to a wiggle up and down. Okay, so these things might not be real intuitive to you until you start delving into the channel box to see the different controls that are inside the single thing that you pick to actually key them. Okay, so this foot shape and this foot shape and this, this ring, these are the main things you're gonna be keying. So what I want you to do right off the bat You've got this character move. That kind of picks everything, and that lets you move him back and forth, okay? The, everything about him. Then this main ball is actually keyed to his body and then his feet, so that when you lift this up, this is going to move as well, okay? And then you never want to leave these guys on the ground. You want to push these up so that they actually follow along with Mikey, okay? And you can see you can get him up the ground. You can get him doing things like this, squishing, you know, doing different stuff, okay? If I rotate this, I get this kind of an action. We've even got little knee controllers here that point his knees one way or the other, okay? Like so. But getting back to the script, that's really what this video is about. What you want to do is make a script that lets you pick all these things with one click, okay? And the way you do that is you go to the outline, you click this guy, 
and I'm going to hold the command key on a Mac. It's control on a PC and pick this main ball control, left foot, right foot. There's a handout on this too, so you don't need to worry about writing all this down. And then you click this little guy right here. This is the script editor. Okay. It looks really scary and confusing at first, but the first thing you do is just delete all this stuff. This is really just echoing the commands that you're doing with the mouse or the keyboard inside of Maya. Okay. So if I click this little X up on the top row here, everything I click here now is going to be reflected in here. Okay. So I clicked on this. I'm going to hold on command, click on this one, click on this one, click on this one. Okay. And this is actually the script that I'm going to make. And the way you do that is you just, once you've got these four things highlighted, no more, no less, you don't want extra stuff. So if you end up clicking somewhere else, it's going to show that in there. So you just want to grab these four guys and you definitely want to grab the little semicolons at the end. Okay. So you select those and then it's super simple. You go to file in the script editor, save script to shelf. It's going to ask you to give it a name. I'm going to call it Mikey everything or every good thing, T-H-I-N-G. Click OK. And then one more thing it's going to ask you is, do you want this to be a Mel script or a Python script? You want it to be a Mel script. You don't need to worry too much about that. It just means Maya embedded language. Click that and immediately you'll see this up here. Then you can close this, deselect Mikey. If you click this button, it picks everything. And this is what you're going to do every time you want to set a key. Okay. Before you hit S, you click this button. It doesn't matter what you've moved, what you've done. It's going to ensure that all of these things get keyed on every frame where you have something going. And the reason you want to do that is if you don't do that, you're going to end up forgetting to key something at some point, And you'll end up with his foot going through his head or his head, you know, lagging way behind his body. Well, actually his head is his body, but you get the idea. Um, so that little guy right there, and you do this for any character you animate, you make a script like this right off the bat because it saves you from all kinds of grief later on. Okay. So that's your little lesson for now. And like I said, it's on a PDF. You can download that as well. Um, the other thing you like, you're, it's a good thing to do. As I mentioned, you want to find out what, what goes on in here, but you also want to do some little test animations when you, when you first encounter a character, nothing like you're trying to fix everything right now. You just kind of want to noodle around with it, see how it works. Cause you're going to find things that are weird. You're going to find things that are great. And you're going to find things that you wish you knew how to do that you may not know right away. Um, so all that stuff is just going to be very, very helpful as you go forward. Mikey says, yes, it is very, very helpful. Try and break me. Okay, that's it for this one. More to come on Mikey and how to start animating him to get over this box. Next one up. Okay, later.